Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Persona 5 Strikers. Today, we're sending out the calling card. I believe I did everything I need to do. I bought all the ingredients, stocked up on supplies. There's nothing in the Velvet Room that I need right now. Mothman's still one level away. Uh, there's no requests. Yeah, so send calling card. Yes. Understood. I won't trust Nkiki with this good calling card. Regardless of what drove Natsumi down this path, uh, he has been gripped with by vanity, turned to evil. If he cannot see the distortion in his heart, then we will lay it bare. All right, let's do that. Probably gonna be a long episode, maybe today. I don't know. It really depends on the boss fight and the mandatory cutscenes afterwards, right? Good morning. I see there's quite a crowd today as well. Uh, yes, about that. What is it? Oh, yeah. What? I actually didn't even notice that. Well, when the staff came to open the store this morning, it was already like this. They called the police, but they were told to leave it as is, to preserve the crime scene. Thanks, Gramps. To the ostentatious swindler, Mr. Ango Natsume, you are a depraved miscreant who holds others in contempt and steals their work, lining your own pockets all the while. We refuse to overlook the crimes you commit as you wear a false crown. Tonight, we take back the desires you've stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, how stupid can you get? I mean, have you seen the news? Damn it, what nonsense! I am the monarch. My followers are loyal. I mean, I like the cape. The tail's a little bit too much. That is, as long as I hold their desires. No, having those desires is proof of my claim to power. Proof of my sovereignty! I won't hand them over. I won't give them up! I mean, you don't have to. We're gonna take them anyways. Foolish heroes are nothing but talk. Come then, I'll crush every last one of you! I feel like you're gonna turn into a dragon. Are you gonna turn into a dragon? All right, his cognition should be changed now. Thank you for all your help, Mr. Detective. <sighs> and with that, I've officially become an accomplice of the Phantom Thief. Oh, you were a long time ago already, dog. What are you complaining about? You're the one who proposed working with us, remember? As a reward, I'll try to start calling you Zenkichi instead of Gramps from now on, okay? <laughs> That's quite the reward. Inspector Hasegawa is quite a mouthful. Yeah, Zenkichi's good, don't you think? Okay then, from now on, you're Zenkichi-san, all right? I'm looking forward to working together, Zenkichi. Uh, fine, whatever. You've already dragged me along this far, damn it. <laughs> now then, the desire should have materialized. Just gives in. It's up to us to take them back and return them to their rightful owners. And in doing so, we'll set his distorted heart straight. Or kill him trying. Uh, let's bring him to his senses. Bond points. Why did I get Bond points there? It's because I'm James Bond. No, that can't be it. Did I choose like the right option or something? Then I gotta... Got like extra points? I don't know. Uh, we need to go to here? Sure. Let's go. We're taking back those stolen desires. Yeah, Natsume won't know what hit him. I'm assuming dragon, right? Big ass dragon. I'll do my best. Uh, I know. Uh, Party-wise, how we doing? <laughs> um. Okay, you guys are the lowest level one, so we'll, well, no, you're not. Haru's the lowest level one. You? Yeah, I'm gonna be controlling you until you learn that. And everyone else is good to go except for Makoto. Okay, fair enough then. Uh, bonding points. Uh -huh. Um. Someone mentioned one of these. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, might have been Highwayman. It was probably good to get. 
For now, it looks we can get it. We definitely don't get that much in terms of drops for them. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the second one. And I'll save the rest for later. For... Oh! Hmm. Tempting. I'm gonna wait to see if this one unlocks afterwards. The healing? Wait, the healing item? Here's what I, found. I don't want the request. I'll do the request later. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Maxed. Okay. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, we can't get that one. Yeah. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. Where are we going? Up here. Grab Ooh, this. this relevant to my interests. Probably. You're into a lot of things. There's a chain. Oh, check out that statue that totally ate it. And hey, doesn't that remind you of how we got to the top in Shibuya? That yes. Alright. Let's go up. Climb this up. Probably gonna fight a dragon. Give him the horns, Great. the tail. Looks like the desires materialize. That is a big ass desire. Over the parties good for this fight, and or at the very least I have access to a lot of his weaknesses. You certainly took your time, Phantom Thieves. Or should I say, chosen heroes? Either or is fine by me. About time we met, eh, Mr. Overlord? The echo in this place is a bit much. We're gonna give back all those desires you stole. Uh... Let's settle this. <laughs> Such foolishness! I have the slightest idea of what you just walked into. I got a good idea. An appearance, and stance. This is no doubt the Overlord from Prince of Nightmares. He certainly gives off that impression. But weren't the fearsome four just dressed like normal people? Yeah, thinking about it, those guys didn't get much love from the author, <laughs> did they? No, nah, the budget can only go so far. <laughs> all this way, only to fall right into my trap. This world belongs to me and me alone. It takes shape solely according to my design. Here, the Overlord reigns justice upon the holier-than-thou heroes who would dare brand him as evil. Here, you are nothing more than flies to be swatted. Oh, bring it on, dog! I'll enjoy hearing those filthy screams as you atone for your transgressions. That's bold for someone who stole others' desires just to satisfy their own selfish wants. Yeah, if you're really the Overlord, ain't this the part where you get your ass kicked? Depends on the story. <laughs> Tell me, how many of my demon brethren have you slaughtered while spouting such despicable hypocrisies? Not enough, given the amount of time it took me to actually upgrade my armor. Did I, I? I told you guys upgrade. Yeah, no, that was like last episode. Wow, this guy's reading right from the handbook, isn't he? Yeah. Enough of this. It's time we fought. No matter how brave a facade you put on, it's clear you're just afraid of losing that hollow throne you're so proud of. What was that? I mean, I can play that again. One second. Go to log and just play no back. No matter how brave a facade you put on. It's clear you're just afraid of losing that hollow throne you're so proud of. See? Your reign is not but an illusion. Allow us to show you the truth. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of everyone looking down on me. Well, I mean, you're natural. Yes, the time has come for my true power. You wretches shall witness. My final form! Oh my god, you gotta you gotta go in order. You go to second form, third form, and then final form. And then you pull out a hundred percent after that. You were a dragon! Called it! You're in your golden form though. I guess you did skip a few. Oh my god. <laughs> the edginess! It's too bright! All right, let's do this. What are you weak to? I'm gonna say ice, cause you're a dragon. You ignorant whelps, dare 
dare to challenge the great overlord himself! Speak up! Muscles, I will feast upon your bones! Holy crap! A dragon! Roar! He's a dragon! Be careful, guys! This one's really tough! I will be the judge of that! Hi, how's it going? Persona. What? Right, you are weak to ice and light. Oh, oh ho ho, oh ho ho, oh ho ho. Uh, throw, I guess. Follow up. Oh, and then do this again. And then follow up even more. Okay. What do you think I'm doing? I'm gonna do this because you're right next to it. No, no, no. Hey, 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 watch this. Did I miss you? Oh. I didn't need to do that one. That was too far away. You know what? No. Here, have this. Is he frozen today? Don't get over yourself. I'm gonna go back to light because I think it's stronger. No, yeah, you can transform all you want. Not transform. Oh god. Uh, rush. Yeah, sledgehammer. Hit him with a sledgehammer. And then come back to me because I need that. Alright, well, she's done with that. Good thing I brought her. Sure. Then come here and just, like, do this. Then come in here and just keep attacking. And then dodge. Oh, that was a great Dark Souls dodge! Uh, yeah, go for it. That was pretty good. I am gonna have to actually heal my SP. Because, like, I have used all my SP spamming my abilities. Well, don't spam them then, Kronos. I have to. It makes me feel alive. Okay, I mean, I was kind of doing ice and, like, you know, light because it says it does the light. <laughs> Chapter 4 of Lord Rises. I should probably dodge that, huh? Yeah, do that. Uh, ice? Oh, you son of a bitch. Where are the swords? Yes, over there. Do that. This is true. Unless you're edgy. Oh, get back here, you... No, ow! Oh, hey, I'm out of SP again? That's bullshit. You know what? Fine, do that. Is there... Am I blinded by the light? Yeah, do that. And then do that. And then do that. And then come over here and be like, yo, I almost died, so heal? No, no, not momentum. Ow! I mean, yes. That, okay, they need to stop doing that. Did you just heal? No, no, that was the team that was just healed. I was gonna say, what the hell? Rush Limba. I'm out of SP again? Kronos, you use nothing but SP. Of course you're out of SP. I know, but that's rude. There you go. Do that again. Follow up. There we go. All out. Wow! That did no damage! Yeah, go for it. Dodge. What are you doing? Did she go? Ow, 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 ow! She died! Okay, first off, get up. Second off, showtime! That should take like three shields away. In fact, it does none, though. 
Thank you. No, 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 no. We don't. We don't need that. Ow! Why? Huh? I feel this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, do that. Do that too, Haru. Good stuff. I gotta admit, dodge, but also like. Principality doesn't do that many, like, um, what's it called? Like, ice combos and stuff like that. She does, like, status healing, and, or no, status effect, and then, like, a status ailment against them. I want to use my ice, and I want to use my, uh, my light. Instead, it's like, no. Yeah, that's about right. You have tattoos on your wings? I feel like that would hurt. I feel like the inside of a wings wouldn't be thick enough for tattoos. Wouldn't that just like destroy a wing? Like a wing like that anyways? Are we trying to bond with the villain right now? I literally cannot hear a goddamn thing you guys are saying. Well, I mean, you, you just denied me you're trash, dog. No, that's rude. I, I didn't read any of your stuff, but at the same time, it's all right not to have the talent to do something. I have plenty of things that I'm not good at. Surprising, I know. But at the same time, it takes, you can work to get strong, you son of a bitch, you're dead. Uh, you can work to get better at something, but that's really only if you're told that you're, you need work on something. Ow! This one, that. That was uncomfortable. Okay, let's go, you're mine. Okay, you didn't have to rush at me. But you know, it's like, yeah, just because you're bad at something, it's fine. Like, you can be bad at something. It's when you don't make improvements after being told what you're bad at. Now, that didn't happen with this guy, right? He just had people that were... Good lord. Trying to cash in on his name. Which, honestly, is pretty shit. But at the same time... When you heard you were bad... You're, you're, you went from, instead of improving how to, like, how you write and all that stuff, you went to brainwashing people. Sure, take you, ass. Yeah, one second. Oh, it's 24? Excuse me? I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, some curry, thank you. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. If you, if you were doing something unconsciously, like if you were doing this completely unconsciously, that's fine. But from what we heard with Alice... Wait, did your weaknesses change? No. Okay. No, the shield didn't break last time. That's why I was like, wait a minute. That seems wrong. Do it! Like, it seriously doesn't look like it's doing any damage to you. Dodge, dodge, dodge! Good thing I have, uh... So many rescue pills. Because, uh... That could have been bad. Why? Thank you for the healing. I'm gonna have to heal my SP again. There you go. Going over here. I don't know why you keep targeting away from the enemy. This is true. I did. Dodge, dodge, dodge. I dodged, game. In fact, I have video evidence of me dodging. Now, I don't know if I was outside of the range. Oh, you're... You're screwed. Dodge. Are you in your underwear? 
All my rescue ranger pills are just gone. No! I like your underwear. There must be a delay or like a resistance to when you can break a shield or something. Cause like... I just hit you again and then go down. There you go. Maybe. Uh, still the same amount as puny damage as last time. Showtime! Hopefully this kills him. Really? Principality! What the hell? Great overlord defeated. Yeah. Yeah, no, kinda in the script. Thank you for all of that, actually. Ooh, gun boost. Game over, Mr. Overlord. Uh, is that all you got? Wait, we can rule this world together. You can have half. No, 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 I've been here before in Dragon Quest. I say yes, and then you kill me. Uh-uh, ain't happening. What? My mantle! My magic armor! My lucky underwear! Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Do you want a robe or something? <laughs> that? His true form? Makoto, that's all of our true forms. Unlike like, we go to the bed or, like, out of the shower or something. We're changing. Looks like it. So in the end, even his identity was just a cheap imitation. It's over, Ango Natsume. You're just a bunch of stupid kids! You don't know how much I suffer! How old are you? It's not too late for me! I've still got my reputation as a writer! I've won an award! I've sold books! It's not too late! It's never too late! Okay, so one, you're you're right. It is never too late. Unless you really do something really messed up. Or just downright evil. And that's good enough for you. <laughs> this fame you've acquired through deception and the brainwashing of others. Is that truly what you wanted? What was the real reason you started writing novels? Probably an escape. I... I mean... I... Damn it! Damn it! I tried. I really tried. Just like everyone else. You read and read all through the night. For hours on end, like my life depended on it. And for what? Nothing I wrote was ever mine. It was just another work from Sogo Natsume's grandson. A one. One ever acknowledged my effort. My effort? Not my work. Not even me. No matter where I look, all I see is a bunch of thoughtless idiots. Slaves to appearances and nothing more. I thought that said toothless idiots. I was say, like, what? <laughs> where have you been looking? Acknowledge me, damn it. No. Acknowledge Ango Natsume's efforts for once! I'm good. I just want someone to see that I really tried! Well, I don't know that! See, here's the thing, I don't know if you really tried. I have a very limited impression of you. Brainwashing people, being a bad book writer that just got handed awards and stuff like that because of your editors and shit like that. And that's it! Oh, okay, that's not true. Futaba and Yusuke said your book was trash. I do. <gasps> it's very clear just how much work you've put into writing your novels. A life led by creativity is almost always a lonely one, no matter your profession. You were battling that loneliness. You braced yourself, pouring your very soul into your writing, bringing it to your publisher time and time again. I will gladly acknowledge such effort and determination. <laughs> There are many out there who would give up that battle, even those of exceptional skill and creativity. To be able to continuously bring life to new works without giving up, however, 
That is perhaps the most exceptional talent of all. Didn't you guys say he was just stealing other people's works? And just editing them? There was once a time when you kept fighting. Oh, you mean before? There's okay. One part of your career that could never be labeled a fabrication. So start over, Ango Natsume. Claw your way back up from nothing and move forward. Can we move the camera away from his butt? After all, there are some things that simply cannot be painted without a blank canvas. <laughs> are all of our boss fights gonna end with like a shot on their ass? Cause this is two for two. It is because everyone believed in me that I was able to choose the path I walk today. I stopped lying to myself and was able to begin anew. So it is now my turn to pay it forward. Even if I'm the only one in the world to do so, I will believe in you. <sighs> Stupid kid. Talking my damn ear off. But... You're right. This identity of mine was built on nothing but lies. Oh, do it! Do it oh. I thought that was gonna be bloodier when you ripped them out of your skull, but okay, I mean, it's still good. That probably still hurt. I actually don't think horns have, like, nerves in them, but I'm sure that it was fine. Do it. I'll climb my way back up. And I'll do it on my own strength! I'll write a novel that'll capture the hearts of countless readers, just like my grandfather before me. Okay. Good for you. I'll write something I can be proud of. To everyone, I swear it! I mean, I feel like you're gonna get sued. But then again, that's only if everyone believes the whole brainwashing thing. Good. And I'll be looking forward to the day I get to read it. <laughs> you know, I really am stupid. How did I let myself forget? I know now. What it is I really wanted. Was it a badass cape and horns? <sighs> the cage is collapsing. Come on, we're leaving. Sure. I still don't get why if you can make a, like an all-powerful image of yourself. Well, then again, I guess you're not you're not consciously making your shadow self, right? I'm just saying, if you're gonna like be an all-powerful, like, demon dragon in your little shadow world there. Why still have the glasses? Oh, glasses are annoying. Looks like it's over for now. They fog up. Cape of Vanity conquered. Oh, cage, not cape. Cape would be great, too. I mean, it's just, I feel like you don't want to... If you're all-powerful, you probably don't want to be relying on glasses. If you get punched in the face and they break, glass goes in your eye. And you can't see anymore. Mission complete. I wonder if everyone's desires have been returned yet. And there's probably gonna be a couple of side quests saying no. Probably. They all went flying out of the cage after all. Uh, I want to see for myself. Maybe we should check on the people back in town, just to be safe. Good idea. That said, the jail didn't disappear this time either. We'll be going back, probably. Now I'm sure of it. Jails really aren't the same as palaces. Well, we can worry about it later. Indeed. Let's go. He's gonna go up to everyone and be like, hey! <laughs> okay, <laughs> we said hey at the same time. He's gonna go up to other people and just be like, hey, have your desires come back? I feel as though I'm restless right now. Do you know what this is? Insomnia? Something bothering you? I'm not sure what's wrong. Natsumi tried his hardest, but somewhere along the way, he lost sight of what mattered to him. It happens. A, a lot. It happens when you reach your goals, too. Like, I was saying before, like, when people start out to create, like, for, like, artist-type deal, like, writing and painting, generally speaking, their m main motivation isn't money when they start. But it can change. Eventually, you can get to that point where it's like, Cool, I made, name, made a name for myself being an artist here, there, and everything like that. And I made a good amount of money doing that. And then you're, you're, you can shift. You can be like, okay, so if I keep doing it like this, I can make more money. 
And then that can kind of be their central view going forward. Right or wrong. I mean, everyone needs to eat, right? So gaining money is not a horrible thing. Um, but sometimes people do take it a little bit too far when it comes to, like, staying in character. You can all probably realize what I'm trying to refer to here with people staying in character trying to earn money. But, yeah, it's... It's kind of a slippery slope sometimes, too. Because sometimes people, like, they start... They don't really seem to get that they're going too far with it. But yeah, it's a... Uh, it is what it is. He's a strange person. Well, oh, that's an understatement. Did you see his underwear, though? It was pretty great. A waste of talent, if you ask me. <laughs> this is a new star for him. He was a crook. Um... Yes, he was a crook. From the sound of it, he didn't have a lot of innate talent anyways. Though, I guess he wouldn't have known that if they were just accepting his shit and then pushing it and giving him awards for no reason. This is a new star for him. Yes, he did say he would climb back up. Yusuke said Natsume lost his way because he was alone. Whenever I think about that, I feel restless inside. Even though Natsume hurt a lot of people and was... For some time, one of our enemies. What is this feeling? I don't know. I've lost that ability years ago, Sophia. Uh, it, maybe it's sadness? Sadness? Is that what this is? I see. So that's why Yusuke saved Natsume. Maybe! It was because Natsume's reason for doing all those terrible things was really sad. I'm more in line to say we stopped him because he was doing terrible things, but sure! I think I understand now. Sadness can hurt people, but it can also save them. Uh... What? I mean, I get it, no? But sure! It can give humans a reason to support one another. Yes, kind of. Uh, sure. Yes, I'm sure that's it. Okay, we should probably get going. I wouldn't say sad to save people. So, you know how I was all excited for the Tanabata Festival that's coming up? My boyfriend says he's already got plans. Dump him! Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say that sad sadness can save people. Sadness and bad events can bring people together. But I wouldn't give credit to the sadness for that. Because that's the cause of it. Cause of the sadness. Like, the sadness is, is from a cause, right? It's a cause and effect. I guess if you look at it from a certain point of view, I guess sadness saved them, maybe. But I don't know. I, th I don't think I have that in me anymore. <laughs> the, the like the look on that side of things. Yeah, I don't know. Support probably would have been. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, by the way, did you ever finish reading that manga I lent you? I got someone else who wants to borrow it. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it worked. I have no idea. Yeah. Doesn't look like anyone's talking about Natsume anymore. Then, all's as it should be. Maybe? Attaining fame through some deceptive power doesn't fit his image. Oh my god. What is that? Oh, it's gone. This wouldn't have been possible without you being there to open his eyes, Yusuke. You really took charge today, Inari. Uh, he was a real hero. Yep. Oh, it's back! Hero Inari what is it, just walking in circles? The land. Thank you, everyone. Oh, this one's wearing glasses. I feel a strong bond with my friends. And a horrifying presence next to me. Avenger! Evading enemy attack. Okay. Oh, we're not finished just yet. We must confirm whether the change of heart was a success. For now, we'll just have to wait and see how things turn out. Oh. Well, since we've got some free time, can we unwind at a bathhouse or something? Oh no! Is it gonna be a bath scene? Good idea. 
We can freshen up a little before we head back to the car. You heard him, Sophia. It's all you. Okay, I'll find the best bathhouse in the area. We can't bring you in there. You're a phone. Level up. Well, I guess if we get like a waterproof casing or something, we could put her in there and bring her into the, the bath. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I've called this press conference to give an announcement, as well as a formal apology. First, my novel, Prince of Nightmares, was recently bestowed the honor of receiving first place in the Sokaisha Awards. I have decided to give the award back. I take pictures. <laughs> There's way too many pictures. All published copies, not to mention take the necessary steps to refund everyone's money. That's a good start. I'm sure you all want to know my reasons for doing so. The truth is, my book, Prince of Nightmares, only won because of my status as Sogo Natsume's grandson. In short, the competition was fixed. In addition, I've also stolen the work of countless other authors, word for word. Lastly, the story I told about writing to inspire a hospitalized girl was nothing but a lie. That is the thing. shittiest, I think, part of it, too. Is like, that is a horrible, horrible thing to do. It's unbelievably sh shit. This fabrication allowed my book to sell a number of copies it nowhere near deserved. I wish to apologize for this scandal, and I'll start by personally seeing to it that everyone who bought my book is refunded. But the people bought like 10 books. I promise my writing career ends here. I am deeply sorry for all that I've done. And you say you're going to start over? Uh, hold on, Mr. Natsume. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Hey, time to wrap it up. Get everyone out of here now. Please don't interfere. This is my way of taking responsibility. I mean, they, they kind of like backed you up on that hey something doesn't seem right here mr. Natsume is the one who put this thing together right do you think the editors were just trying to profit off mr. Natsume's family name I mean yeah uh. hey uh. Uh. Who, who are you Zanari I will not allow this. You... You're the one from the party. I'm so sorry for what I said back then. I will not allow you to cower and run away, Ango Natsume. You intend to make a comeback, do you not? Huh? When you do return to the literary world, I want to see a book with your name on it. Not your grandfather's. So wait, so... okay. Did, did none of them have his name? No, it had to have had his name on it, because everyone was talking about him. But at the same time, if all of his books and stuff were written and published as the, from the grandson of this guy, and didn't have his name on it anywhere, dude, that'd be pretty shitty of them. Also, probably shouldn't have went along with that for the start, but... I guess people can get desperate sometimes, but still. <gasps> you are going to write a novel that you can be proud of, are you not? And, uh, give your best. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Why you can disappear if you me? want. Once everything is rightfully resolved, I will make my return. Even if there's just one person out there waiting to read my stories. Oh, there's an audience for everyone. No matter what, I will keep writing. I only hope. I can one day save someone's soul the way my grandfather's novel saved mine when I was young. That is why I write. Jeez, you kids are something else. Barging in on a press conference like that? Yeah, it happens. My apologies. It was imperative that I speak with him. Eh, it's fine. I'm pretty sure it was trespassing, actually, so it's probably not fine. Go question Natsume. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't end with just an apology. 
Senkichi's really doing his job. It's almost like he's an actual cop or something. I think he is. I am an actual cop. <laughs> anyway, it won't take long. So go on and wait for me back at the car. Guess we should get rolling then. Right. We'll leave the rest to him. I mean, he is the cop. Do you have a moment? I guess. Something about Natsume's been bothering me. What he did was no doubt unforgivable. Uh-huh. Nothing will change that. You're right. However, was he really like Matarame? Well, he didn't murder anyone. I think. So, he's a few levels below Matarame. He did brainwash an entire town. From what you guys were saying, which is pretty messed up. Who knows what else he did? I mean, he did kind of have a creepy perv attitude when we first ran into him. So hopefully he didn't do anything uh, that deserves a stabbing like that. But at the same time, I wouldn't say he reached Madarami's level, right? Madarami, for years, stole people's work and, like, made people pretty much suffer and close any chances of them getting a job in the art world, right? And, you know, he demurred your mom. Well, you know, I, he did murder your mom. She had a seizure and... Did, did he... He didn't get help for her, obviously. But the way he was said, like, didn't he... He said he would like, choke choked her out or something like that like you wouldn't be people would buy that she choked to death while having a seizure or something like that so and then there was also other kind of like comments from other students saying that other students of his had disappeared so I don't know can he truly be called evil like the palace rulers we confronted in the past I mean yes yes he can had he simply ignored his editors would he have strayed from his path or Am I perhaps just sympathizing with someone who pursues the arts like myself? I mean, to be fair, you guys sympathize way too easily. And what do you think? Uh, he hurt innocent people. I see. You're right. That's probably the best stance to take for now. In, in the end, it is, right? Whatever his reasons, whatever drove him to it, he hurt innocent people. A lot of them. He leeched off innocent people. I don't care how you want to label that. I don't care how you want to sympathize with that. He leeched and hurt in on innocent people. So, yeah. Me. I didn't mean to hold you up. We should return to the car as well. Now, if he just did to his editors, that'd be fine. Uh, looks like everyone headed back to the camper. We should go too, Alex. Uh, no. We need to fill up on supplies. Probably. Absolutely. All right, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go to the camper, I guess, next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day.